What is up, Ghost Squad? Welcome back to the channel for another beginner series. In this series, we're going to be going over the game Crows. Over the next few videos, we're going to be going over everything you need to know about Crows. And also, I'm going to give you some hints and tips on what helped me become one of the top tier players in the game. Now in this first video, we're going to be going over our video settings. Do keep in mind that this game is not fully optimized as of the recording of this video, which is April 13th. However, these will be the graphic settings that I use when future optimization patches are put out. And we're going to go ahead and start with display. The resolution I play at is 1680 by 1050, which is a custom resolution you have to create in your NVIDIA or AMD settings. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description to a video showing you how to, you can create a custom resolution. Field of view is at 110, even though I'm pretty sure this is for first person perspective only. I have had people come into my stream and ask me why my camera feels farther away from my character. I'm not sure if it's the field of view or if it's my resolution, but even so, when I do use first person perspective, I want the max FOV anyway. And the brightness is set at default, which is 50. Now moving on to advanced display. Anti-aliasing is temporal anti-aliasing. Rendering size is 70. I've seen this give me a boost of about 10 to 15 FPS if I move it from 100 to 70. I also have my overall graphic quality to player setting, which allows me to customize my settings. AA is medium, post-processing is medium, shadow is low, texture is high, effect is medium, foliage is low, and view distance is low. Do keep in mind that if you use low for view distance, player models will not render in if they are outside of your render distance. And of course, motion blur and bloom are both turned off. So that takes care of the settings in game. The next thing I do isn't really a secret. A lot of people know about it, but I feel a lot of people don't utilize it. And that's digital vibrancy. I make sure that my digital vibrancy is turned up to at least 85%. Some games I may play with it on 100, but most of the time it's at 85. I know a lot of people like to run it at 75, and sometimes even 80, but me personally, it varies on the game. To do this, you right click on your desktop and go to your NVIDIA control panel. On the left side of the window, you're gonna go find adjust desktop color settings under the display sub menu. Scroll down to digital vibrance, and by default, it should be at 50. Just bump that up to 85 and hit apply. If you have a Radeon card, you will go to your desktop and right click, go to your AMD Radeon software. In the top right of the window, you will see a little cog wheel Go ahead and click on that and that will bring you to your settings. Once you're here, you'll see a few submenu options for systems, graphics, display, and so on. Go ahead and just click on display. And when that menu loads up, under the custom color section on the right side of the screen, you're gonna wanna find saturation. By default, that will be at 100. Go ahead and bump that up to 185 and hit apply. 185 in the AMD software is same as 85 in the nvidia software the reason for me running my digital vibrancy at 85 is because it makes the game look less dull as you can see from the two videos on screen the video on the left has digital vibrancy at default which is 50 on nvidia or 100 saturation on the amd program it's just very dull it's very bland everything kind of merges into one nothing really stands out and it just in my opinion doesn't look that great the video on the right has digital vibrancy set at 85% or saturation of 185. And you can just see that, especially with the way that certain skins are in this game, they pop instantly. You can quickly identify a Twitch t-shirt as opposed to looking at someone who's wearing a whole camo getup or the default skins, they don't blend in as well. The players just overall, the silhouette of players just pop out more. The more vibrant the colors, the easier it's gonna to be to see people. And in shooters, being able to see somebody is a necessity. This may not help with people who lay prone in bushes or, or lay prone next to walls, but whenever it comes to running and gunning and looking in the open field, you will be able to spot enemies that much easier. I hope that with these general settings that I gave you, you'll be able to fine tune them to your likings and to your wants and hopefully enhance your gameplay. I know there have been a few people who have commented on my graphics settings videos in the past and they have told me that my videos have helped them out a ton. At the end of the day, I just want you guys to get the best performance out of your rigs and I want to get the best performance out of you as well. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also click that subscribe button and click the bell icon to turn on notifications so you never miss another video. 
Until next time.